Today, we go through the features of our newly released MC8 MIDI controller. So this is the MC8, our brand new flagship MIDI controller. And just like all our MIDI controllers, it allows you to control any device that accepts MIDI, regardless of brand or model. It is fully programmable, that means every switch is independently customizable, and each switch can send any combination of 16 MIDI messages across 16 different MIDI channels. So what upgrades and new features are there compared to the MC6, you may ask? Let's start with the physical differences. The MC8 has a newly designed angled enclosure. This not only allows you to access the back row switches more easily, but also angles the LCD screen towards the player, which makes it easier to read. Foot switch spacing has also been increased, making sure that you hit the right switch every time. The next and probably most obvious difference are the two extra switches compared to the MC6. Having more switches not only gives you instant access to more presets at once, but also gives you more flexibility when using the controller. Say for example, you prefer not to use dual switch presses to bank up and down. No problem, you can use the two extra switches to bank up and down and still have six other switches available for you. Another example could be to use one of the switches as a tap switch to send MIDI clock and another switch to jump banks, in this case to jump to bank 11. You can also use the same switch to jump back to bank 1 or any other bank you want. With the additional switches, you don't have to compromise on the number of switches you have access to even after assigning two of them to other functions. Now moving on to what is in our opinion the most important difference and what really sets the MC8 apart, Omniports. More and more MIDI capable pedals are using quarter inch or 1 8 inch TRS jacks for MIDI instead of the traditional 5 pin connectors. And that's great because it allows pedal makers to make pedals more compact or use the extra space for additional features. To embrace this industry change, we introduce to you our brand new Omniports. Here on the rear you will find 4 Omniports. These multi-purpose ports can serve different functions of your choice. Each of these ports can be a MIDI output, an expression pedal input, or an external aux switch input and they can all be independently configured in the global settings menu, where you can easily decide what function you want for each port and decide what combination of functions serves you best. Being able to send MIDI out through these quarter inch jacks means that you are able to connect directly to pedals that receive MIDI via quarter inch TRS, like those from Chase Bliss, Maris, Empress and Strymon. Now, I'm sure you've also noticed there's a much wider and taller LCD screen found on the MC8 compared to the MC6. Aside from the ability to give your presets longer names, the larger LCD on the MC8 also means that it can always display important information while you're playing. Here on the left, you can see which bank you're on and also which page you're on in that bank. Each bank on the MC8 has two pages, but we'll talk more about that in just a bit. The MC8 also always shows you the name of the bank you are currently at and also the name of the currently activated preset. This way, you will always know which preset is active. All bank and preset names are defined by you, the user, so the customization options and possibilities are endless. Use the Morningstar device editor to program and name each of your switches quickly and easily. We'll put a video link in the description down below, and that video will show you how to use the Morningstar device editor. On the right side of the screen, you will see your expression pedal position, and also the tempo BPM for MIDI clock. All Morningstar MIDI controllers have built-in MIDI clocks and can send MIDI clock to other devices. We've also added a new feature where the displayed BPM blinks in sync with your tempo. One other great new feature on the MC8 is its built-in toggle page function. As I briefly mentioned earlier, each of the 30 banks on the MC8 has 8 empty preset slots. This gives you access to a total of 16 presets per bank. All you need to do is press switches B and C together to toggle between page 1 and 2 on each bank. P1 indicates page 1 and P2 indicates page 2. We hope this video has helped you learn more about the new features in the MC8 and also make a better decision on which MIDI controller is best for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Come <laughs> on.